Hello boys and girls, this is Bobby of Pilsner Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Beach Bounce. Now, on the last episode, we went and had the the time of our lives last that night, and went to go get drinks with uh, Mielka, Mielka, and found out um, that she was an only child and stuff. We found a few things out. We... We had the options of getting more drunk and stuff, but I chose not to because I knew she was already drunk. Drunk equals bad mistakes and all that good stuff. So I kept going and saying, no, you're drunk, you're done. That's it. Found out she finds a gentleman attractive, which we are. But we also figured out something about us. We don't know which girl we like. So with that being said... Let's get into today's episode, and if you like today's episode, give that thumbs up, comment if you want to comment, and subscribe for more awesome videos from us. So, with that being said, let's go into it. You wake up and the roof of your mouth is dry. Yeah, bad after drinking, it would. You must have fallen asleep in your cl clothes, and, the very much, and they smell very much perfumey. Well, I'm pretty much intact, that's a good sign. You peek at the clock, and you overslept. With a groan, you peel, peel out of your clothes and check your phone. When did Yukio get, you, get your number? Dear Tomo, rather disappointing in you. Mika's too hang, hung over to work. Mika's too hung over to work. You get greeter's duty all day. Damn. Nothing seen, nothing, nothing some coffee and a massive breakfast won't fix. Oh, it's it. Oh, crap. What is her voice? Uh, I forgot her voice. Hi there, bright. Hi, hi there. No, I can't do that. Hi. Hi there, bright eyes. Oh my god. You swallowed down the breakfast burrito. You were <laughs> blowing the server a kiss. Feeling a lot brighter with the, a lot brighter with this in me. You sighed and settled back, sipping coffee. Joining me at the beach today? You shake your head at her. Fair or not. I'm covering for Mika. She's feeling a little under the weather. Erna get her eyes peering at you. Sakura said she saw you at the bar. She did? I knew it! Ika grins in her, grins in her private victory. You behaved, right? You behaved, right? Yes, of course. She probably just hung over at home. She's definitely a lightweight. Makes me wonder why she drunk in the first place. She hates, she drinks in the first place. She hates alcohol. I think she was nervous. Oh, that's pretty cute, to be honest. Cute or not, I'll be in the music car park, most likely, if you need me. You gave me a good smile, finish your coffee, standing up. And, and I'm already late. Thanks, Inko. Take care. <laughs> you try and sneak past reception on your way to the car park. Tomo! Shit. You freeze, afraid to look over your shoulder. Yuka told me she got very sick drinking with you. You turn about face. Yuka, we stopped before anything bad could happen. Honest, she sighs in the feed. That girl. Okay, are you going to be comfortable covering for her? Yep. You gave her a reassurance smile as you can. Oh man, that sounds like a fun time. Time passes in peace. You direct people to where they belong. It's nice that they have become second nature to you. By noon. You're waving off cheerily, elderly couple when you tug when you feel a tugging on your sleeve. Hi, 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 Tomo. Oh, Miyuko, are you okay? Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. She nods, looking really rather pitiful. She passes the lunchbox to your hands and sniffles. Y yeah, I'm sorry about last night. I just wanted to spend time with you without being nervous. Miyuko gives your arms a hug and smiles faintly. Back to bed. You really can't hold your alcohol. No more drinking for you. She gives you a wiggle finger over her shoulder. Well, that was something, at least. Your feet are absolutely killing you by the time you get back to your room. At least you got what? What was in the lunchbox? You never. Okay, there. Oh, on your bed, it's a box. Hello. You pluck at it carelessly, giving it a little shake. There's no rattling noise. When you open it, you see a napkin with lipstick on it. An odd gift. You don't actually know who it's from. Tuck it into your pocket and smell work. You're sure you find out in time. 
All right, so what was though in the box? Was it wait? The box was on the bed, or she gave you a lunchbox and she and you? I I didn't read it. I read it too, or I pressed the button too fast. I couldn't see, so I don't know. A shaft right from the raising sun knocks you on your eyelids, acting politely if you'll wake up. No, yawn. Yawn roller mentally telling the sun to go and fuck itself. Wow! Wow! <laughs> sun, go fuck yourself! Okay! <laughs> but the clock says 8 a.m. Fine! You go through your morning duties and clean yourself up working over a day plan. It's already been a week. It feels like it's flown by. You pluck up your phone. A missed call from Dad. No voicemail, though. Saw him then. Your little letting the drive back died right back into work and off for a walk around the resort down her edge. Oh, huh? Oh, it's Eucrea. Eucrea there looking at the sea and looking peaceful. Good morning, Eucrea. Are you okay? Morning, Tomo. She adjusted her glasses, peering over them at Learn at you. Just because I have a perf preferred perch doesn't make me melancholy, Tomo. He stretches out lazily, joints clicking loud enough for you to hear. But I have been here for a while. I suppose it's time to get changed and get to work. You gave her a glance, adjusting your jacket. As usual, a meal in, in the food hall is great. You don't think you could ever give it up. But where, is it, where to work today? Okay! Oh, shh! Shit. Okay, um, we worked car park, we worked, I, I haven't done the Sandy Beach in a while. I haven't helped Inko in a while, but I also haven't helped Rhea. Rhea. Let's help Inko to Inkia today. Well, um, ah, uh, shit. Honestly, Oh gosh, this is tough. I don't know. I don't know. I... I think I haven't... I haven't helped Anka in a while, so I'm gonna go and help her. Hey, Tomo! Anka waits at you. A glance over at the beach show you you need a near ocean of people, maybe... Dizziest you've ever seen it. Was like you need the extra hand? Phew, you have no idea. Do I get my do I get to, to myself all day? You gave her a grin and nod. Well, well, where should I start? She tweed her fingers together. Th think you can handle trash pickup? Will you with you in the fancy chair? I'll buy you ice cream. She flutters her eyes, lashes at you, what's going with the side you immediately surround. Okay, okay. You go get in the and with a bump, with a bum wiggle. Wow. Though most of these visitors kept it pretty clean around here. It's inevitable there's some mess. At one point, a horde of children all ran about picking up junk food, junk for you. Though it's possible they dropped it in the first place. Good job, Tomo. So how about that ice cream? She orders two massive cones, holding them in front of her chest. You do your best not to stare, but you're human. <laughs> What's with your theme? What the, the, the uh, you can't, okay, look, you, you're gonna wear that and tell me to keep my eyes on you. No, I'm human, fuck that shit, you have nice breasts. There you go, it's that simple. Eyes, eyes over here, here you go. You check that blood hasn't flown south. Oh, and it's at one of the cones, it's so cool and creamy. I'm such a bad girl eating this sugar. She might have stirred herself a little more, but her cone disappears a lot faster than yours. <sighs> Are you going to play volleyball today? She bites her lips, looking at the group of people playing. As long as I, as long as I get to sit in your giant chair. Deal. She gives you a squeeze, hug, and skips off to play. You give more than a few in chances to watch while she plays. She's such a driven person. There's a look in her eyes when she finishes and sets you sets on fire. You adjust yourself in the chair and wave at her, grinning her time to cool down. 
you think you're a little sunburnt after so much fun out there in an English giant chair. Alright, ramage around the bathroom cabinets, refill some lotion. You stare at the bottle occasionally, and then you said for the intention purse, put it away after. Beach Balance is doing something with your head. Alright, guys, I'm going to end the episode right here. Um, <laughs> that was actually pretty good That about what happened. Um, I still don't know. I skipped over that little box part, and I don't know if that was from the lunchbox or if that was just some completely random item. I don't know. But we have something in our pockets that has a uh, lipstick on it, or it's a napkin with a with a kiss print on it so we'll have to figure what that is um so i'm gonna end today's episode here um thanks for watching um if you enjoyed today's episode give it that thumbs up like i said if i i'm posting two episodes on monday starting july starting june 27th and if i get 10 likes on the the two episodes that come out i will or comments asking I will post more episodes when I need to and that's all I can say about that so thanks for watching uh, comment uh, subscribe for more subscribe subscribe for more awesome videos not just from me but from William Ian and Matthew from the rest of the pillars of gaming and with that I have to say this is Bobby from pillars of gaming signing off be careful what lo the lotion you use because Beach Bounce will mess with your head. See you guys in the next episode. Bye! <laughs>